In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro, a HD wireless video transmitter. And we're also gonna dive into what makes a good video transmitter such an amazing thing to have. I am a sucker for nice packaging. And this is pretty nice. This system can transmit 1080p full HD uh, for up to 400 feet of range. And one thing I love is it has connectors for HDMI and SDI, which is super helpful depending on what kind of monitor you're using and camera. Inside the box, you'll find a user manual and then you'll find the transmitter and receiver for the system. And I've got to say, this is quality. Uh, it definitely doesn't feel like any kind of plastic. It feels more metalish to the touch uh, and like it could take a spill. Also in the box, you'll find a DC power adapter as well as five antennas. Uh, you only need four, so it comes with one extra, which is pretty nice. I could see myself losing one of these. Um, but the units themselves only take two antennas per unit. And they're super easy to screw on. And once you get them on, you can pretty much face them in any direction you want. So before we move on to my favorite feature, let's talk power sources, because I know you guys are already wondering, is this just another piece of gear that I'm gonna have to switch the battery out on every hour or every 30 minutes? Do I need to use it for a quick shoot? Can I use it for an interview? Can I use it for a long live stream? You can actually plug up to the wall via DC adapter, the one I showed you earlier in this video. Battery wise, this thing takes Sony MPF batteries, which are super common. I'm sure you may already have some laying around. Now I've tested the three kind of most common sizes. The small guy here, the Sony MPF, F70, uh, and then the kind of medium size here, the Sony MPF uh, 770, and as well as what Hollyland recommends, which is the MPF 970, which is the big boy of them all here. When I put in this MPF 970, this is huge. This is a pretty big setup. It's definitely a lot bigger than it is out of the box, which is fine. I mean, that's kind of what you expect. It's got to have a power source, but Depending on your situation, I don't know if you really want something this large. Now, I will say I've tested the MPF 970 and it will last you over eight hours. So that alone could make it worth the size. But it left me curious, if this will get over eight hours, then what can I get on the smallest MPF that I have? Uh, and form factor wise, when I plugged in the smaller MPF, this thing is tiny all over again. It's a drastic difference to the 970. Surprisingly enough, with the NPF 570, this thing is even smaller than an Xbox controller, which is pretty insane. Um, I can't hate on that. And once I kind of saw that comparison, I was like, oh my gosh, how long will the 570 run for? Unfortunately, the 570 will run for about 30 to 40 minutes. It's, it's definitely not a production job lasting quality of battery for this unit. Uh, so I cannot suggest this thing unless for some reason you need wireless transmission for 15 minutes because we all know how video production is. You, you kind of take the amount of time you have and you kind of cut that because you know everything you do is gonna take way longer than it should and, uh, anyway. So from there, I went on Amazon and picked up some 770s, which are kind of in the middle. Now, if I compare the three, you can kind of see here that 570 is actually, even though it's a pretty thick battery, it's way smaller than the 970. So when we throw that in the back of the Mars 400S Pro receiver or transmitter, we definitely kind of get that middle line. We almost, you know, split the difference as we like to say in video production. Uh, and I love this. I found to love this size and with the Sony MPF, uh, 770, it will last for over six hours, just over six hours. So you might get around five hours and 40 minutes. You might get around six hours and 20 minutes. It kind of depends on your Sony MPF uh, 770, but I found with mine, I consistently get around six, if not more than six hours, which is pretty insane uh, to know that I could go to a live event that's four hours plus and leave this transmitting the signal back to the switcher board or something like that for over four hours and feel completely fine with it. I love that. 
love that to death. Now to move on to my favorite feature, we kind of have to go back to my first camera, which was the GH4. And then my second camera was the GH5. And one thing I noticed about those cameras, they had the ability to make a Wi-Fi signal that you connect through an app on your phone and preview and control the camera. Now there's plenty of other camera manufacturers that allow you to connect to the camera from your phone and control the camera. But what I kind of later on learned when working with other cameras is that a lot of them did not allow you to preview the footage. Even on the GH5, it allows you to preview the footage. Like you can use your phone as a monitor with nothing else but just the camera and your phone. But the quality is, and honestly, probably the most well-liked feature among all GH5 users is the swivel out screen, how it swivels out from the back and can spin around. And you can pretty much see the screen from any angle that you hold the camera in, uh, which is amazing. But that also kind of leaves you without needing a monitor if you're on a gimbal, uh, unless you need a monitor for someone else to see, which there is that case. There are plenty of times when you're doing a bigger production and the client you're working for expects to see a transmission of what you're shooting in Video Village. And usually you have to have cords going all over the place to get back to where the monitor is. But with this, that kind of allows you the opportunity to just send that transmission back to Video Village without really worrying about it because the quality on these things is 1080. It is seriously 1080. To me, the image out of this thing looks amazing. And I don't really notice much of a difference when I plug in the Shinobi hardwired to my 6K to when I have it transmitted through this from the 6K. I honestly don't notice much of a difference and I promise your clients won't either. But moving on to my favorite feature is that you can connect this to a phone. Hollyland not only has its own app where you can connect to the transmitter, but in that app, you'll find Focus Assist. They have a magnify feature so you can punch in and get a closer look. They've got scopes, they have zebras, false colors. You can even record the HD transmission straight to your phone in MP4. Now this wouldn't be full production quality, but definitely good enough to send to the client for a quick preview. Or you could quickly take a professional camera rig, get a shot onto your phone and upload that straight to Instagram within seconds. It's almost frustrating, but it's like every feature that my Atomos Shinobi has, the app has, which just takes us to a whole nother level because now you're telling me they don't even need the receiver and an external monitor. I really only need to take out of the house the transmitter. I can throw this on a cam. I can hand either my second shooter or my focus assist guy my phone, or I can hand the client a phone or a tablet. In that case, if I have a tablet sitting around where I can download the Hollyland app, which could save a lot of money on the back end if you're thinking, oh, well, if I get the transmitter, then I gotta get a monitor for the client, blah, blah, blah. If you already have a phone or an iPad or some kind of tablet, you can easily connect the Hollyland app to those devices as well and even have a bigger screen than you would pay hundreds of dollars for <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> so in conclusion, while Hollyland did send me this unit to review, I made it clear to them that my channel to me is about providing value to others. I don't do a lot of reviews, and if I do, it's gotta be on something that I truly believe in. So all they could do was send me the product, and they're just gonna have to wait to see what I say. And this is what I say. This thing's unbelievable. And I feel privileged to have access to it and to have a relationship with Hollyland. So I thank you guys for sending this to me. And I hope you all, the viewers, give this thing a look. I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can pick this thing up. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good wireless transmission system. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like down below. And if you don't like the video, maybe give it a like anyway. It really helped the channel out. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. And once again, I'm Marcel, and this has been The Martin Filmmaker. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.